happens to people in space? Can staying in space make you live longer? Whoa, whoa, whoa. let's slow down. In 2015, Scott Kelly traveled to the International Space Station for a year-long mission while his genetically identical twin stayed on Earth. NASA scientists compared changes in Scott's body to Mark's to see what differences were from space. And what happened? Scott's gut microbiome stayed healthy and diverse in space, and his immune system responded normally to a flu vaccine. He also had changes in gene expression and worse vision. There's more, but the most surprising change was in Scott's telomeres. What are telomeres? Telomeres are non-coding, repeating nucleotide sequences at the ends of chromosomes that do two things. To prevent DNA ends of different chromosomes from being incorrectly recognized as double-stranded breaks and being fused together, telomeres curl into a loop. When DNA replicates, ends of the DNA strands are unable to be copied, shortening the chromosomes with each cell division. Telomeres fix this end replication problem by risking themselves to protect the genes we love from being lost. Think of them like aglets that stop a shoelace from fraying. After a certain amount of cell divisions, the telomere itself gets too short, and the cell can no longer divide without losing vital DNA. This is the Hayflick limit. The more cell divisions a species Hayflick limit is, the longer their lifespan. See where I'm getting at? Big Hayflick limit, I have. The human cell Hayflick limit is about 50 divisions. Once a cell reaches its Hayflick limit, it enters replicative senescence. Losing the ability. Losing the ability to divide. Hey! Not dividing prevents harmful DNA shortening and DNA damage from being passed on to other cells. But as we get older and our telomeres shorten, we become made up of more and more senescent cells until our tissues don't have enough dividing cells to repair damage. See the problem? Most senescent cells go through programmed cell death. Some that don't, though, are like living zombie cells that can harm and inflame the cells around them. All of this is tied to aging and age-related diseases, such as Alzheimer's. So, I bet you're wondering, what happened to Scott's telomeres? They got longer in space. 14.5% longer. Well, not exactly. Some of this elongation may be from Scott's better diet and exercise in space, which we Earthlings can do to reduce our telomere shortening. But once you go back to Earth, they shortened within hours. This may be from extreme stress in the landing. Who can say that crashing back into your planet isn't stressful? While there's still much more research to be made, it's possible that something about space makes our telomeres longer, and therefore our lives longer. What I can say with certainty is that the more we learn about the long-term effects of space travel, the more prepared we are. And the more likely a trip to Mars is. And the more we know about telomeres and aging, well, don't be surprised if I live as long as Yoda.